Hey guys, long time no see. Um, I poured some resin because I had to finish up some pieces and I had a custom order from our garage sale that we had. A family member wanted me to make a couple things to match her two Volkswagen Beetles that she had because she wanted to put them on her visor in her car. So I guess I'll just show those first. Um, this is, she has a, like a royal blue one. It's an older one, it's not one of the newer ones, and none of these are sanded or anything, but um, here's the blue one. And I ended up putting the pins, I think I did this one too early though, I put the pin on so I wouldn't have to glue it just to like eliminate one step and it kind of sunk down, so, but since she's going to put it on her visor anyways, um, it sunk down too much to get the little clippy thing out. But you can use a pliers and get this out, and then she's just gonna like stick the pin in anyway and not clip it, so it should work out all right. So there's that one. And then she just bought a new one this year, and here's the. It's like a pale yellow, but she wanted this um, gold perlex and yellow paint one because I had one like this and she really liked it. But I had it on a a necklace, so I made it a pin. And this one I put in at the right time when it was not too tacky, but tacky enough, and you can flip the pin thing. Okay, next to the fail. <laughs> I had gotten, I think it's called Oyumadu, like the stuff you put in hot, really hot water and then you mold it to whatever. I had gotten it in a trade, and I tried it, and I don't know if I didn't use it right or whatever, I had had a couple compacts of eyeshadow and I wanted to make round bases for my ring pops and they ended up being flat and round on the back where the resin leveled itself out but in the mold itself I don't know I probably just didn't do it right it was the first time I used it but I made two of them and they this one turned out all lumpy or whatever I might just like clay them down to a board and use like a reciprocal sander and sand them down flat just so I didn't waste the resin. But this one turned out flat but it didn't sit right in the mold so I'm gonna have to sand it anyways. But those are kind of fails. Get that out of the way right away, right? Okay. So I'll just start with the random stuff I guess. So I had mixed um, some stuff to go with ring pops and some stuff to go in another mold so I had some left over but I didn't have enough to put in separate molds so I put it in a bunch of different ones so I just did two colors in this one I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but it's kinda pretty um, I have this one I had what I, the colors I had was that sparkly blue and the flat red and then I had that sparkly yellow perlex like in the flower so I did I just mixed it all in here and I think it turned out pretty cool I really like it it's like a tie-dye and then I did this one the same way I just kind of poured it in there and let it settle and then I dumped another color in its own spot and then over it and then I did the same thing with the other one I think the back looks almost better than the front but all the sparkle turned out on the front. And then these two I poured what little I had left and I just kind of like winged it across the mold like this with my spoon and then it kind of swirled together. But I put white on it because it was way, way too thin to pop out so I put white on it hoping it would make it pop a little bit. They kind of look like those nebula pendants that, oh, if I get the name wrong, I'll correct it in a little like annotation. I think it's Miss Kawaii Kenzie. She owns Nerdy Little Secrets, I know that, her shop. But kind of looks like those. And then this one turned out more yellow than I expected. It kind of overtook everything, but I think it looks kind of cool. And it dripped down the sides, so it's kind of got that effect on the white on the back. But I think it looks cool. Just for a scrap piece to test something on, it wouldn't be bad. So that's those. Da, da, da. Since we were going with skulls, let's just go with skulls. <laughs> this is extra I had left over. I was doing a custom piece for somebody on YouTube. I watch 
her channel a lot. It's a fashion and vlog and makeup channel, sort of. Uh, her name is Bunny, and her channel is Graveyard Girl, but it's got um, a three instead of an E in one of them. She's really cool. Um, and she does like, uh, she likes paranormal stuff and stuff, but <laughs> stuff and stuff. I had leftover from one of the things that I made her, so this glows in the dark, but it's really, really thin. I don't know what I'm going to do that I might put shatter nail polish on it because it glows in the dark anyway, but it's kind of cool. And then I had leftover mixes from other stuff, so I ended up making just a black. And I think I used that black, like, concentrated colorant, and I think my, like, it, you know, there's like two separate parts in there. If you leave it sit, you see like the clearish gray part and then the the dark black on the bottom for anybody who does have them. Um, I think I didn't shake it enough or like all that liquidy stuff is gone and it's starting to dry out because on a lot of my pieces I have these like sticky spots or there's like black um, little pigment spots in the stuff I'm doing. So I think my colorant's going bad, so I might just end up using paint from now on in my black and white pieces, because that's what I use for most of them, because I had that anyway. But that's that one. And then I did um, this one. It was left over from a ring pop I did. And it's really pretty. It's, I don't know. I really like it. It's got... Um, black colorant and then it's red and like a grape colored glitter. It's supposed to be like a black raspberry or dark cherry ring pop. And I had this left over. It's still kind of bendy because I think I put too much paint in it. But um, I was like, oh, it kind of looks like a milk bone. So this was left over from um, something else I did. And then I had white left over, so I did a white one. It got really thick. I probably could have did two with this one, but I just it was getting thick, so I just need to pour it in something because I wasn't going to just throw it away. And then I have a black one. Okay. Separate the stuff. All right. Let's just start up here. I did... This was a um, leftover resin. It's all bubbly right there, but... I might be able to salvage it for something and just sell it for a discount. And then somebody really liked, I did one like this and I really liked it so I kept it for myself and somebody um, wanted me to throw one up on Etsy from the garage sale that I did so I made another one for that person. And I made, I tried the nail polish Thing. like I painted it inside the mold and I had a silver shatter didn't have a regular gray so I used the shatter for <clears throat> like the knobs and the little things I didn't do the strings though and I did Teenage Dream it's from OPI it's like the Katy Perry collection or whatever for the pick guard and I just did white I think it turned out okay um, I did this clear piece it's got tons of bubbles in it, but I really didn't care. I, just, I really don't care because I really like the way it turned out. I might end up like painting some foggy clouds or whatever on the back. And this is zero from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I don't know what it's going to be, but I still really like it. Um, this right here is the camera from the camera disaster piece video that I did. I didn't paint it or anything yet. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with it. I want to mold it, but I don't have any silicone. Um, I have like that paint on mold builder stuff, but I'm not fond of it. I've been doing, um, it's like a four or five inch tall gummy bear. It's like those giant bite gummy bears. I got it off Amazon a while ago and it had a plastic case on it, but the case was cracked when I got it. So I figured, well, if I can mold build it, get one piece out of the mold builder and then when I do invest in some silicone I can silicone build it. So this will probably go in that same boat with that one but I really like the piece and the candy mold you can tell it 
that it wasn't like a perfect mold because it has texture all over it. So I think I'll glaze it before I do that, but I really like it. And I like the color that I did it in. It's just one of those pieces that's gonna take time to finish. And this video is getting really long. <laughs> Um, this is just a random piece. The background glows in the dark and it has a, a death bat from Avenged Sevenfold on it. Was it transparency? And then this one, um, I have it on my purse as a keychain and somebody really liked it. So I made, um, one to put up on my Etsy thinking maybe other people would like it too. And this one's a little thinner than mine. So it'll make a better necklace. And then I did what, um... Yunk and Zem suggested, and I, I had made sets of ring pops, and I was like, well, I don't want to glue them together. So I mixed the same color, well, attempted to, on all of these, and I put them on when it was tacky. Most of them turned out really well. The red ones did really well, and they stayed, and so did the, like, this one's a little, little bit off. And that one's just a hair off, too. But not as much as this one. This one really floated because it, I over poured it a little bit so and they aren't exactly the same color one of them is lighter than the other one the top one's lighter than the bottom one but this one's not so bad but they're still cool and then I did a couple of these molds from um, Miss Britalicious I think I did this black one and I'm gonna paint this yellow and then this one, I put acrylic paint in the mold before I did it, but I think I put it on too thick because it came out all goopy when I took the piece out. So I just washed it off with water, and I'm going to um, repaint what I can on that one. And I did acrylic paint in these molds, too. I did the cookies. These are the little earrings. I did monster cookies. And then I did this one, or the pendant. I think they turned out all right. I like the color that it came out. It was just a random little paint pot that I had. And um, I just put the brown in there. Same thing with these little gingerbread guys. I put the paint in there with a toothpick and let it sit for a couple days before. I think these are gonna make really cute little earrings. This one I didn't because I had extra of the color, so I just poured it in this one thinking I'd paint it later. And I made a paint palette. And then I did these little Lisa Frank inspired paws. I just took the toothpick and dipped it in the little thing of paint, and then I put it in there in like a rainbow. And I did two of those. This one is a custom piece for my cousin for her birthday. She really liked the ones that I had, but she wanted it in pink. So I poured it really thick because it's going to be a keychain, and I didn't want to drill into the clear part. So I poured the pink really thick. But I think it turned out. It's got like micro air bubbles in there, but she doesn't care. She's only 12. So I'm starting to go a little faster because I really don't want to get over like another 20 minute video. This is just a red bow from leftover from the ring pop. This I did nail polish inside of the mold before I poured. I poured it black, the whole thing. And this is a, a Nicki Minaj OPI polish. I don't remember what it's called, but it's really pretty. It's got like iridescent little tinsel glitters in it. The only thing I find when I do nail polish though is sometimes the resin doesn't seep around it all the way like right here you can kind of see that there's like a piece where it didn't get and I'm sure that'll go away once I glaze it or it just seeps over the nail polish I don't really know what it does but there's some spots that don't really have that coverage like it would seem like it would scratch off if I wouldn't glaze it so but I was kind of like in <laughs> I hate to say it but I was kind of inspired I kind of call it the Lady Gaga Panda because it's got that really sparkly thing going on. But it's kind of got a dark vibe to it too because it's black. I did a couple jack faces that I have to paint. I did a bunch of sprinkle hearts. 
that I was going to try putting um, black shatter over one of these. I did a two inch one. And I did a bow. Because I think, like, I put these on pins and I wear them, like, if I wear a spaghetti strap tank top, I'll put it, you know, like, um, right where the tank top part meets, you know, like the actual shirt part, like the spaghetti strap meets the shirt, right at that seam, I'll like pin it, not through the fabric, but around it, and I'll do one on each side, and instead of like tying little ribbons or whatever, I use these, and people seem to like it, so. This is the stuff I did, um, I had leftovers, so I mixed more resin in and did more glitter, but these are the things that I had the skull was left over from and I was gonna send one of these to that girl on YouTube she's into like paranormal stuff and aliens and ghosts and stuff so and these glow in the dark and her favorite color is lilac so I was gonna paint the little things and I was gonna maybe paint a little alien on here waving but I'm not a good painter so we'll see how that goes um, well I guess should say I'm working on my painting it's not as great. I did a pink one, and then I did this green one because it was left over from another piece that I did, which is this one. This is another mold from Miss Super Delicious, and I really, really like it. They're a little tough to get out, but because it has a lip kind of right here, like it, it comes up and goes down. But I found that if you can get this bottom piece doesn't have as much of a lip. So if you can get this piece out a little bit when it's still bendy, I stick a plastic spoon like down inside the mold right here and I just push the piece up like this and then I grab it and pull it out. Um, they're not cured all the way when I do that. You know, like they're enough to where you're not gonna damage the piece, like it'll form back to where it was. But I, have, I haven't really damaged them taking them out like that because you wanna have the spoon more so pushing on the mold versus the piece so but I got the two out that I did like that this one's not painted yet the other one I did is um, I went and got some sharpie paint metallics they come in a pack of three these are water-based I normally use the oil ones but um, here's the blue one I did use this one and I have a green one which I'm gonna try and do those little aliens with and then I have like the metallic red or pink or whatever. Pink. They were like $12, but I used 40% off coupon at Michael's. So. Here's the one I used the metallic one on. And uh, I like it. Like I tried to do it like an actual heart would be. I think I'm going to take the pink one and just try and make these other, the veins more noticeable, like the arteries. I looked at the picture and I was like, okay, well, most of the pictures, like if you Google anatomical heart on Google images, this piece is red and then there's another piece that comes out blue here and blue here. So that's what I tried to make it look like. I think it looks cool. I like it. One idea I did have though is, I think I'm going to try this the next time I do it. I'm going to pour the heart, but I'm not going to pour it all the way up. And then I'm going to make like a two-sided type thing, you know, like people wear lockets with people's pictures in them. I'm going to pour, you know, three quarters of the way up and leave it cure. And then I'm going to put a picture and then do clear, like the picture would be facing up. So if you wanted a keychain or something with your friends or, you know, your kids or your spouse's picture can be here and then it'll be this, whoops, it'll be like this on the outside and then your picture will be on the other side. So I'm going to try that next time. These are just a bunch of random leftover pieces. I had, this is just like a vampire red color or purple color. And these always, this mold always gives me trouble. It always has air bubbles on the front, but I'm going to shatter these anyways. So and I got a random blue, glow in the dark pink, another glow in the dark pink one, a fat, awesome red purple black dye mix black ones see you can see that where those little sticky spots are from where the dye didn't mix with the resin 
That's why I think my dye is going bad. And I have, this is another mold from Miss Britalicious. He sent it to me as a, a freebie. It's a little Teddy Graham. He's still a little bendy. I think I put too much paint in. And then I did a couple shatter things. So I did these glow in the dark lips. And they're kind of thick, so I think they'll be a keychain or a magnet. And then I did this glow in the dark, like alien inspired ice cream cone because it's you know shattered and it glows in the dark and it's green I don't know it turned out cool though I like it and then I did a couple koalas I haven't seen anybody do a reveal on koalas yet so um this one uh, was the second one I did and you can see where like I used my white and my black colorant and you can see where the black left little specks so that's him. And then this one I did with nail polish. And I poured that same gray color. Like I mixed, tried to mix the same color. And it did seep. Like I did nail polish, but it like seeped over where the nail polish was. So there's some spots like that. So I might just paint over them with the nail polish. Like right here. But I think he looks really cool. His eyes stick out a lot. So I painted pretty much the whole mold in nail polish I did the silver for around the eyes the ears his muzzle and then I did blue for the eyes and then I did a darker like a gunmetal color for the rest of them this one's for me anyways it was just like a test for doing the nail polish and then I did this piece here I didn't pour enough to get both of these so I just kinda left it and I really like it it's cool my mom really likes it too so, oh, before I forget, I've been meaning to show this. This is a UFO cuff that I did a while ago, and I did it in husky colors for my college, St. Cloud State, and it has little black glass bone beads around the outside, and these are really easy to make. Um, I watched, I think her name is Cellular Mango, pretty sure. I watched her tutorial on how to do it. And it's really easy. It took a while, but it's really easy. And I really like it. I've been wearing it out just randomly, and people give me compliments all the time. So, that's about it. And it's another 20 minute update. Yay! <laughs> um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I guess one more thing. I'm almost, I think I'm almost at 200 subscribers. I think I'm at like one. 50 or something like that or 160 once I get to 200 I plan on doing a contest or a giveaway I haven't decided yet I kind of want to do it before Christmas because everyone gets busy around Christmas and I really haven't decided on a theme yet but I don't know how long it'll take me to get to 200 subscribers or whatever so um we'll see how that goes but uh that's all for now